Now, if you have a high temperature, sometimes we need to use charge accelerometers. And charge accelerometers are susceptible to this thing called triboelectric noise. And this noise is generated from dissimilar materials rubbing against each other on the innards of the cable. So the cable actually generates this noise when it flaps around, okay? And it's called the triboelectric effect. It's self-generated. So one thing you can do is, as good as you possibly can, make sure you attach your cables correctly. Don't let them whip around. That's one way to prevent it. The other way, we'll see a little movie here, Um, so you can see the signal generated just from the general purpose cable. So here's our general purpose cable. And then pretty soon it'll go over and it's going to switch to a, what we would call a low noise cable. So it's a cable designed to not have this problem. So that's a regular standard accelerometer cable. Here's our lower noise coaxial cable. So obviously these are probably gonna cost more and they're only needed for charge. This is only a charge effect, okay? It's not on the IEP. So if you get a charge, you probably wanna get some low noise cables, okay? Um, but you don't need to buy low noise cables for everything because they'll be more expensive. So that's another error in the lead wire.